Good afternoon, children. So, yesterday we discussed about the coordinate geometry chapter. So, under that we learned the distance formula and distance from origin to point. Both you have learned. Following that one, we have solved some of the problems also. Okay, I hope all of you follow. So once again repeat what is distance formula. So the topic is what is that? Coordinate ordinate geometry. What is this? So you must know the chapter name. That is most important. Under that, what do you learn? Distance formula, children. Distance formula. Isn't it? So after distance formula, I am going to teach about section formula. After that area of triangle, there, there, there are three sections of the important geometry. All the three having different formula. First you have learned about the distance formula. What is distance formula? D is equal to over root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus so y2 minus y1 whole square. Origin distance only x square plus y square. Following this one we have solved two three problems. So under the, those problems given under examples. The same thing now I will continue three more forms because this is different pattern. Formula is same but different pattern they have given. So until and unless if you don't follow, you cannot solve problem under exercise. Under exercise. The same thing. One month sample given in the example. So the same thing I am repeating. You go through in your textbook. So following that also exercise I have given. Today you try when, uh, after giving this video, try your level best to solve the problem without seeing the notes. So later I am sending notes also. If you made a mistake, following that one you try your level best to understand. It is not such difficulty. If you follow the notes, you can solve the problem children. Now three problems I am going to solve under the example. Given in your textbook, example number 4 and 5, I am going to solve. All of you open your textbook, children. So, see the example 4. So, I will read it. I do not need to write on the board. So, example 4, what is the terms I will take? See, find a relation between x and y. What is the relation we have to find out? X and Y. Isn't it children? So all of you following in your textbook. Y. Search that the point X comma Y. X comma Y. Is equidistant. Equidistant. Suppose you take for example. This is a straight line. Straight line. Isn't it? Equidistant. This is a midpoint. X comma Y. Okay. So, if we distance from the points, from A, this is B, this is C. Okay, children? So, from the point 7, 1 and another one is 3, 5. They have given. So, if we distance. Okay, see here they have given. We have to find out what is the relation they ask. What did they ask? Relation. So then we come to know that we 
relation x and y. Let us see. All of you look at the board. I will take you following the distance formula. What we will have to find out is AC. AC is equal to D distance. What is the formula? x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Repeat all of you. Distance formula. You must know very well because in second test we are going to give this one. Okay. This is a distance formula. What is the x2, x1? Here you make a mark. This is x1, y1. Okay. This is x2, y2. Follow it up. Now substitute the value. Substitute the value. So whole root of what is x2 children? X minus what is x1? 7. 7 whole square. In the formula of the six there you put the same thing. What is y2 children? y2 means y minus minus what is y1? 1. Follow it children. Follow it. So here square you put if you mean square you are not getting. So here you simplify this one. You simplify. How do you simplify? So it is expanded. Expand it. How you expand it? So do one thing now. Before doing the expansion, no? another one also you find out. Another one also you find out. No? What is that one now? Equidistant to BC. BC is equal to D is equal to whole root of X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Substitute. 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 Here already x2, y2 is there. This one make it as x1, y1. Substitute now. So what is x2? What is x2? x. x minus. What is x1? 3. Whole square. Whole square. Plus. y2 minus y1. Now what is y2 children? y2 is y. See the figure. So what is y1 children? 5. So make a square. Is it clear? See we got it. AC is equal to AC and BC. Now we will go for simplification. Because they have asked question. What is the relation between X and Y? Okay. Now let us have a simplification. I will rub out this one. You come to know everything. So now I want more space to for simplify this one. What is that term? AC is equal to BC. AC is equal to BC. What is AC? Whole root of, whole root of X minus 7 whole square plus Y minus 1 whole square is equal to what is BC children? X minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square whole root. Now, so what are the equal? They have given but before solving or simplifying we have to remove the square root. Square root. With the, uh, with the square root we cannot simplify that terms. We cannot simplify the terms children. Now, because of that, uh, square on both the sides. Square on both the sides. Children, square on both the sides. Okay. So, make it a square. Here only I am doing square on both the sides. When you make a square, the roots will be cancelled. Roots will be cancelled. Remaining terms of x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square. The remaining terms of here LHS and RHS. Following this one you expand it. What is the formula you are using? 
In the beginning, he said, "I taught you about identities. A minus B equals square. You know the formula. A minus B equals square is A square minus two AB plus B square. So say in your mouth, orally you say and substitute like that only. What is this? Is A minus B? Yeah, A square x square minus two into yes." Into seven plus plus seven whole square. So put a bracket. Put plus expand it. Expand it. Once again, a minus b whole square. That is a y square. Y square minus two into y into one plus one square. One square chain. Write a comma. One square is equal to is equal to a minus the b whole square. Here a square x square minus two into x into three plus three whole square. Okay, plus. Got it, children? Now here. Another one, o y square minus two into y into five plus five square. So this is the simplification we have. We have following identities. Following identities, children. Now is it clear? Is it clear? Go for that. Now for that. X square as it is, you write down. Now two into seven, fourteen x plus forty-nine. Put a bracket. Put a bracket. Plus plus y square minus two into one, two y plus one. Put a bracket. Is equal to simplify. X square minus six x plus three into three nine children. Put a bracket. Later you simplify. Plus y square minus ten y plus twenty five. Follow children. Follow. Now remove the brackets. X square plus into plus 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 into minus minus. 14x plus into plus 49 plus into plus plus y square plus into minus minus 2y plus into plus 1 is equal to y square plus into plus plus into minus 6x plus into plus 9 plus into plus y square plus into minus minus 10y plus into plus 25. See now. How nicely you can simplify it. Now further, further, LHS and RHS you observe. Step of simplification you can do it. Is there X anyway? No. no. You transfer RHS to LHS everything now. Now X square minus 14X. Color children plus 49. 49. Plus y square minus two y minus two y plus one. This is LHS. You transfer another term also. RHS, RHS. Okay, from RHS to LHS. Now right hand side you go. Here plus is there, no? That will become a minus x square. Here minus. Here minus uh, plus uh, plus nine is there. That will become a nine minus nine. So here plus y square is there. Minus y square. So minus is there. Plus uh, plus uh, what is that? Uh, ten y. Ten y. So here plus is there. Minus minus what is that? Twenty five. So all just become empty. That will be zero. That will be R H S become empty. So that because all the terms you transfer to L H S with the sign, so now R H S become missing. So now we let us see what is the relation of X and Y. Okay, children. Now.
Now, let us see. Now, see the right terms. See here, plus 6 is there. Here, minus 6 is there. You cancel it. Okay, okay children. So, now, we will go for 14 x. Here, 6 is 3. Minus 14 x plus 6 x. Any other term is there? Okay, this one and this one is over. So, next you go for y. y square is there plus the minus y square is there. Cancel. So, go for y terms. Here, minus 2y is there. Here, plus 10y is there. So, here, into you put by the right terms identification. Which are the numbers are there? You go for 49 plus 15. Okay, any other number?